One of the big visions behind Ashes of Creation is that every single server will be different from one another, giving the players the power to build up the world around them, unlocking quests, dungeons, raids, all locked behind 85 nodes throughout the massive 1200 square kilometer map. But players do what they do, and after Ashes of Creation launches, players always tend to find the meta, or the best way of doing something within an MMORPG that everyone tends to follow afterwards. Normally that's with gear and talent specs and things like that, but with nodes that adds a whole new dynamic to the MMORPG genre. And this is something that Ashes of Creation's node system could be doomed to follow. The way nodes work is basically as you and the thousands of other players leave one of these starting zones and head out into the world, every zone is in what is called a node zone of influence, and every activity that earns XP will grant XP to that node itself depending on which zone of influence you are in. Once a node begins to level, the content will begin to unlock. At the start, it's probably not that big of a deal, the game is new, players will set out on their own path and explore and do their own things, just enjoying the world of Vera, and the player activity will be somewhat random. But a time will come months down the road that the majority of the population will become max level and start to get into their routines. They'll figure out which content is behind which node based on other servers, figure out which nodes have the best advantages when it comes to resources, location, nodes powers and content, and as word gets out about this, I think we will see a huge shift in server dynamic. With Ashes of Creation not being a casual game, the majority of players you will have at this point will probably be some of the most dedicated and want the best setup for them as possible, which is where we get into the meta. At this point, we could see players team up to intentionally destroy nodes and sieges to move them to a better location, building up the server the way they want it to be built, granting them access to all of the things that they want, and if it tends to be be better than a lot of the other server builds, then you will probably see a lot of other servers start to follow. So what is Intrepid doing to prevent this? Well, first off, with the starting zones, the races aren't required to stick within their starting zone. No matter the race you select, you can start in any of these zones. Even if you're a Tolnar living in the Underrealm, you can go to wherever, helping friends stick together within the world. Which is great alone because of the large travel times, which could make it very difficult to get to your friends initially, especially if they're on the other side of the world if you're locked into a specific race starting zone. Allowing players to pick their starting zones will really help with the randomness of the world map, because if you were stuck within the race zone, I think you would see more of a balance between servers, as the more popular races would be the first ones to level up their nodes, starting out potentially most of these servers on the same path. But player-wise, you just can't predict where people go. Just because someone wants to play a human doesn't mean they wouldn't rather hang out in the Underrealm with all their friends. But again, once these players hit max level, that is when I think the shift will begin and players will start to build up these servers instead of letting them naturally build with the flow of the player. Node mayors may also help with this, although I feel like the majority of node mayors will be streamers and large guild leaders. There will come a time where a node has a really bad leader that potentially breaks the economy for that area or they make some very poor decisions that cause players to uproot and leave the area to find a better suited node with lower taxes or better buildings and crafting stations or maybe that node mayor really upset another node node and people just want to destroy it because they really don't like that mayor. But the biggest thing Intrepid needs to do to prevent a meta server in Ashes of Creation is make sure the nodes are completely balanced. Each node should have roughly the same amount of content locked behind it, so if one node has a raid behind it, really they all should, or give something equivalent behind the other ones. Because endgame MMOs are about gearing your character and becoming stronger and making money. So if one node has the raid with the endgame gear and another just has a couple dungeons with lower level gear, people are going to want that raid content. The same idea with node powers. I think that with limited fast travel in the world, scientific nodes are going to be crucial to help speed up travel within a server and maybe even be favored more than say in economic nodes linked auction houses. A especially if there are an abundance of casual players in the world. So, Intrepid really needs to make sure that these node powers are appealing to all players and make it a really hard choice on what type of node you may want to set up your home in. Intrepid will also need to stay on top of it constantly if they truly want each server to be different, because as players begin to figure out the game, they are going to evolve and where they go might change. But this starts with Alpha 2. I expect that they will be monitoring to see which way players migrate within Alpha 2, and if they all go the same direction, 
production on each server. While this is when Intrepid should rework what is behind some of those nodes or give perks for going to different ones to help spread this out. I think a buff system in the game would help this as well if different servers were given different world buffs depending on the regions that are developed, really helping to spread out the players in different ways. Because again, even though you may not have a clue what is behind each node in the beginning, that doesn't mean the players won't figure it out pretty quickly after a world begins to build up. Another way to do this would be randomize which type of node is in each location. So when a server is made, one node could be an economic node and that same node on another server could be a military node. Because that alone will help make the servers different as players may not want to develop that military node. They may want an economic node like the other server and go out and go to seek out to find one instead. Do you think that there will be a meta build for servers in Ashes of Creation or will Intrepid do enough within the world to truly make each server different? Let me know in the comments down below and if you're new to Ashes and have yet to create an account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below where you can jump in on the forums, buy some cosmetics, or just stay tuned until you can finally step foot into the world of Era. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.